Alrighty, so we're here close to the receiver in um, Santa Rosa, New Mexico. So, as I always do, before I get to the receiver, I call them and let them know exactly what time I'll get there. In this case, I called them about an hour ago and said, hey, I'll be there at exactly this time. And he says, hey, uh, call me back when you get closer and I'll tell you exactly how to get here. So, I called him back, starting about 20 minutes ago when I was about 20 miles out. I told the guy, I said, hey, I'm telling you exactly what time I'll be there. Can you just give me some directions or, you know, no, just call me back. So, I said, okay. You know, and of course, he doesn't answer. I texted him a couple times and called him a couple times, left him voicemail. So, uh, now I'm going out here just, uh, I'm going to park on the side of the highway because this uh, guy didn't hold up his part of the park. Well, we have a situation. So I showed up and the guy said, um, oh, our loader's not here yet. So you're gonna have to wait. And another guy says, no, no, he's just back in there and drop it right there. So that's what I attempted to do. And as you can see, it's nothing but sand on this road. We're out here in the desert. And uh, if you can see back there behind me, pulled up started to back up and it started to sink so I, I pulled up a little bit further to get on solid ground I was gonna make a run at it and it just stopped dead from about five miles an hour so now I have to wait for the equipment that they said should have been here early this morning Probably the guy I was stuck behind earlier in town. Not looking good, but here's what we got. I guess we need to show you this. So it's just a water tank. Doesn't weigh a whole lot, so super simple job should have been Woo! relief we got out twerk easy as I was standing there and uh, I don't know if you guys noticed uh, hopefully I showed a picture of that trailer but uh, on the bottom of that trailer on the frame there was a motor and I'm standing there talking to the guys uh, and we're waiting on this front end loader and uh, I look down at this motor and I notice it has hydraulics hooked up to the frame of the trailer and I asked the guy hey does this trailer lift this tank up and he said yes and I said hey can we lift it up and I get my truck out from under it he said they were all for it and unfortunately they they said yeah man if we can get you unstuck let's do it yeah this guy I followed him for about 30 40 minutes he would speed up to about 65 and then he would slow down to about 50 and he was all over the road running people on the other lane off and so when we got to a little town he just stops right in the middle of the road right in town throws his hazard lights on and uh, I finally come around him there and he's opening up a file folder or something I don't know if that caught that on the video but he's obviously looking for directions he's lost and so that's the guy that should have been there three hours before me and he was still lost um, they've been uh, trying to call him but uh, he wasn't answering so instead of waiting for that guy came up with another plan so these guys uh, got that motor cranked up and got the tank lifted up off my fifth wheel if you guys have never seen a movie called Lone Wolf McQuaid need to get on the YouTube I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube um, or 
Netflix or something. And uh, it's an old Chuck Norris movie. Chuck Norris was an action star back in the 80s, if you don't know who he is. And he made about 30, 40, 50 bad movies. But this is one of the better of the bad movies. So, in the movie, Lone Wolf McQuaid, Chuck Norris plays a Texas Ranger, I think. And he's got a, a souped up redneck mobile with uh, it's a Dodge Ram wagon with four wheel drive and a supercharger and big old four wheel drive tires. And, um, one day the bad guys get their hands on Chuck Norris. As in most movies, they don't kill him. They put him in his truck, knock him out, put him in his truck, and bury him in the truck and all in a big old hole. So they leave, and a little while later, Chuck wakes up, and fortunately, he has some beers in his police vehicle there, and he pops open a cold, well, I don't know how cold it was, pops open a Coors Light, downs about half of it, pours the rest over his head, cranks up his truck, <coughs> turns a uh, supercharger on and starts rocking it back and forth. And then all of a sudden he comes jumping out of that hole, dirt and all. And uh, that's about what I did. They got that frame lifted up. What are these people doing? They got the frame lifted up, lifted up off of my truck. And I started running her back and forth a little bit and kind of leveled out the ground a bit. And uh turned on the old supercharger and the four-wheel drive and we came out of that hole and I got up onto a piece of there was a real short piece of um, hard dirt there stopped there and the challenge I thought was going to be getting out back around this trailer because that was the only drive in there the only road and it was just desert all around us and we looked around and there was just no good option. So I told the guy, just get back out of the way. I'm gonna uh, put her in reverse and come out as fast as I can. And uh, so I jammed it in reverse, got it up to about, I don't know, 10 miles an hour, 15. Felt like I was going a lot faster. Hit this sand dune, it's about three or four foot sand dune on the side of that road. Came over the top of it. <coughs> or more likely knocked it down a bit. And uh, when I got on the other side of that, the ground seemed, <clears throat> seemed a little bit more firm. So I did me a Dukes of Hazard turn. I jammed that wheel all the way to the right, took it out of reverse and <clears throat> was trying to jam it in third gear and finally it slowed down enough where I could. And, uh, slammed the wheel all the way to the left and we came out of there got back up on the road and I stopped long enough for the guys to sign my BOL and just got out of there Woo! thank you lord you don't know till you try right I figured uh, couldn't get any more stuck than I was so might as well give it a shot <clears throat> and uh, who knew when this guy with that piece of equipment was going to show up and like I said he was supposed to have been there four hours ago and uh, he's lost somewhere in the middle of New Mexico 